Surge GPT is officially here, and happy Halloween to everyone as today is October 31st as OpenAI just introduced ChatGPT Search. So in this video, I'm going to be covering all the important details that you need to know and also how you can access this. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you being here. And my goal is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using right now for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link below this video. But now let's get back to search GPT. So if you visit OpenAI's website, and I'll leave a link to this page on ChatGPT search and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below, you'll notice right away they have this little video playing on autoplay where it's just a quick glimpse of what this looks like in real time. And the important thing to call out here is if it goes back to the home screen is you'll notice there's now a search icon where it says search. So that is right next to this paperclip icon of where we would upload PDFs, any files, and use that vision capability of ChatGPT. So if I open up my ChatGPT account and I am a Plus member, I now see this option to search the web. And that's the very first thing that I wanted to call out here is that this is only available to users of ChatGPT Plus, team users, as well as search GPT waitlist users. So maybe it will be available to free members if you did sign up for that search GPT waitlist. So this is the search GPT page. The waitlist is now closed, unfortunately. And I signed up right when it was announced. Didn't really hear much back, but now it looks like we finally have access to this. So that's the first thing to call out is that this is not available to free users of ChatGPT GPT, unless apparently maybe if you signed up for the search GPT waitlist, I'm not sure guys, let me know in the comments below if you're a free member and you do have access to this. Um, but you'll see here, if we go into it in real time, I'm just going to try this with you guys. This is the first time I've done this. If I click search the web, it gives me some, you know, options here of things that are trending. So I can say something like AI news today. And this is what the interface looks like. So here's the latest developments in artificial as of October 31st. And look at that right away. OpenAI launches real-time web search in ChatGPT. But this came from The Verge. That's very interesting. Meta advances with AI with Llama 4. I actually didn't know that. I might have to make another video about Llama 4. Uh, so here's an info or a source on that. Uh, XAI seeks additional funding. That's true. Google integrates AI into mapping applications. Uh, and then there's all these other stories here too. And then it lists the sources at the bottom. So really interesting here how it does link off to this. And I do have a separate video talking about how you can index your website in ChatGPT. And that was the main reason for me making that video is now that Search GPT is here, it's gonna be more important than ever that we get our websites indexed with ChatGPT. So I'll leave that tutorial below if you're curious on that. Now you can even do something simple like searching for the weather forecast. So if I click search and open a new chat, I'll do weather in Des Moines, Iowa, as that's where I'm located. And so let's see what it comes up with here for the weather. Yeah, I just list it out in a nice table format. Uh, so today, Friday, so it gives me like a seven day forecast for the weather in Des Moines, Iowa. So that's pretty cool. So if you go back to this main page on OpenAI's website, here they're talking about kind of where they're getting their data from and what sources they're using. And that's the first question I had is, where are they getting this data from, right? Well, if you scroll down, what's really interesting is that the president of Vox Media, so they talk about chats now include links to sources such as news articles, blog posts, giving you a way to learn more. Click sources below the response to open a sidebar with the references. And in my head, when I see quotes like this, from the president of Vox Media, kind of praising ChatGPT search. We have another one here, a publisher, uh, Axel Springer. The first thing that came to my head is if you guys remember all of those partnerships that OpenAI was establishing early on. So right here we have Hearst, really big publisher. And if I scroll down here, I'm not sure yet. Condé Nast, really big publisher. Uh, there was the Atlantic, Time Magazine. Uh, so Vox Media, we just saw that quote from the Vox Media president, The Atlantic. I mean, I'm sure there's more in here. Um, so another news company, but that's the purpose of them partnering with all these publishers is they're now prioritizing them in search GPT. So are all the small websites and small digital publishers now SOL as I highly doubt OpenAI is going to link to any of these for sources, especially for competitive searches, right? So if we come back here uh, on my chat, if I go back to the news summary, you'll see here The Verge, right? Wired, New York Post. Now, obviously, this is news related, um, but if I do another search for something that's somewhat competitive, right? So if I say, like, what are the best VPNs 
right now. I highly doubt there's going to be a small publisher here. Um, so you can get an extension now, it looks like. They're saying download the Chrome extension. So you can get a Chrome extension. Is this their way of kind of getting at Google search? That's really interesting there. I'm actually going to click that and see what this is all about. So there's a chat GPT search Chrome extension. I literally just learned that. Um, so you can get it up here and start searching in your browser. So this is their way of coming after Google, it looks like. Now, I'm shocked that Google would allow this or maybe not censor it as this is directly attacking their model. Uh, so stay tuned for that Chrome extension. But if I come back here, uh, so there's one from CloudWords, Tech Radar, uh, Safety Detail. I mean, all of these are pretty big sites, the independent, that's a huge site. And if you click the Sources tab on the right, it does list all the citations. So this is almost like their version of search results, it seems. Um, so yeah, we have our best of articles, right? 10 best VPNs, tech radar, digital trends. Um, I'm assuming this is probably similar to what you would see on a Google search result. Um, so yeah, it says search results. So these are what the, the search results would look like, kind of reminiscent of what Google currently looks like. Now, the other thing that's interesting that I thought, if I go back to that news summary, is I thought this looks pretty similar to what you get in Perplexity AI right now. If you've never heard of Perplexity, this is an AI-powered search engine. And now with the launch of Search GPT, I think this really threatens Perplexity. I do think Perplexity still has pretty credible sources and, and data behind its research. But when you see OpenAI partnering with all of these big media companies, who knows, guys? I mean, this is going to be the ultimate question of who's going to provide better sources and better results. Is it going to be search GPT? Is it going to be perplexity AI? Or will Google figure it out with Gemini and keep that going with AI overviews? Google has a lot of resources, more than these other companies do. So that's something to watch too. We're kind of seeing a, a three-front war here. Potentially Microsoft could get in here with uh, Microsoft Copilot as well and Bing Search. So maybe four players at stake here. Uh, in terms of getting that search market, search engine market share. So that's enough of me rambling. I could do that all day. I want to know your guys' thoughts on Search GPT and this big announcement from OpenAI in the comments below. And if you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you found value. And if you're a marketer or content creator, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link below this video. But guys, most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.